Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with Stock Swoosh, and here's my trade today. The trade of the day is, guess what? It's Google. I exited my Google option today. I made $12,014.96 to the penny. <laughs> I, I, I had a perfect exit. At the actual height of the, it's very hard to get out at the high of the day in a long or the low of the day in a short, and even more challenging if you're in an option because they can be very volatile as far as the swings they move, and there's, you have to put the order out um, to get filled. And I literally could have made another $600 in this. I, I literally, this is, a, this is an absolutely perfect, 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 perfect exit. And I could have gotten out of the whole thing at 320. That was the highest ever that I could have gotten out of the bid or between 320 and 350. And I got did get filled a couple at 350, but I had a big size. I had 50 contracts, which was 5,000 shares of Google, and my price was 67 cents. And I've been in it for, I think, like two weeks. They're almost two weeks, and the earnings are tonight. And my goal was to have a comma trade that had two numbers in front of the comma. So I did accomplish that goal. And the interesting thing is that this could have been worth so much more if the market would be running up today, but it's not. So let's look at the market. That is the most money that I've ever booked in one single trade in my life, in eight years of trading. So this day, will, I will remember. I will remember this day. It is July 28th, 2016. I was earlier this year in Google Options uh, at the first quarter earnings and I did I was at like sixteen thousand dollars and I did not exit the entire position uh at one time before the earnings. And so as far as the actual money, it's never over to the fat lady things, which is when you're out of a trade. And what I realized after that experience is the the sure money is the money that you have right now that you're up in your PL. And I'll I you know I can do ninety nine more trades like that and I'll make more than a million dollars. So I'm very excited. And and look at this thing, this is pulled back. So let's just take a look at it. So what ended up happening was, I got in this way back, okay? And it just ran up. It had a beautiful bar, and on this day of the bar, I talked about this in the video yesterday. This was a, such a solid day for this chart. This is like a wall, a wall of steel, and I knew that it would not reverse this far. So that was a very positive thing to happen. What I wanted it to do was just break out higher and run all the way up to 765. 770 was like the dream target before the earnings, but the earnings are tonight, and the market's been a little sluggish. If the market had traded better out the last week, which this looks very similar to the market, it's kind of basing. Here, we'll look at the cues. This would this would have been at 770. I mean, if, if, if you see this here, this is the last week of trading. I know we did get up today and we're bullish, but I mean. If we had just kept falling through, falling through, falling through, here, the SPY, you can see. So this is the SPY. Um, this Google would, would have been at 770 today. Now, my prediction is that Google does gap up on the earnings. Whether that happens or not, no one knows. And so, as I was saying, the money that I had today was real. It was a lot of money. I took the whole thing. If, if you were in this, you can hold some of it through the earnings because you never know. If this goes, this will run well over the high into the earnings. So this isn't going to gap up a baby if it gaps up. If it gaps up, it will blow and hit up on through 800. So my strike price was 800. So it'll, it'll be funny to see. I, I, I don't know if I'll watch it tonight because I don't know if I will. But the interesting thing is, I mean, if this, if this – let's just say I had held the whole thing, which it never – I had no – there was – no, I shouldn't say that. There was one day last week, I think it was Thursday or Friday, or maybe it was over the weekend. There was one day last week, and I thought to myself, do I want to hold the whole thing? Because I really, truly believe so wholeheartedly that it flies in through the earnings, but it expires tomorrow. So it has to get over the number in order to be profitable, well over the number, because my cost was $0.67, cents, so there would be no time value left. And I spent $3,350 that I risked in the train. So the four R trade, which is amazing. Anyways, to make a long story short, if let's just say it goes, I think the number that it could go up to, I could think it could gap to 800, hold the gap and run up to 820. That would be a big move for the stock, but it not that big of a move. It certainly could do it. The stock could gap up 60 points, you know, when it rolls out of bed. So that could very well happen. And it's at 743 today, and it almost made it up over 750. It was over 750 this morning in the pre-market, and last night in the post-market. So it's I really feel very confident it gaps up, but I was thinking, what if it went to 800, ran up to 820, 
or, or gapped up to 820. I mean, that could happen too. So 20, 20 points, I would have made, I would have made 100 grand. 20 times 5,000 would have been $100,000. So again, I thought about doing it, but then I thought the sure money was the money that I was already up and had. And I could have taken half the position off and held the rest but then I wouldn't have booked $12,000 today. So I wanted the $12,000 and it's mine, it's all mine and I deserve every penny of it. So let's take a look at it. So what happened is it opened today and the option chain opened today and I was up over 10 grand in, into the open and then it collapsed. Collapsed in the day and sold off hard and I was watching this and, 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 and Facebook didn't help because Facebook fell in the morning and then so did the market a little bit. So this is, so I was up here and then whoop, so I was watching the $10,000 profit I had drop all the way down. I think at the low, it was like 6,300. So, but I was still at $5,300. I mean, that's great. Anyways, it rallied back, it rallied back, it rallied back, it rallied back. And I said, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. And I literally, I forget the time exit of my trade, but it was right around here. And I was like, I got to get out, I got to get out, I got to get out. And I started putting the order out. And then I was moving it down then just get out. Because I thought, I thought this could fall through here. But see, it couldn't go over this area. It couldn't go over 747. I, I wanted it to blow over 747. I had it at four. I had it at five, then four and a half, then four. Then I pulled it down to three and a half. And I thought it was going to blow over this area, but when it didn't, I had to get out. So now it doesn't look like it's going to go green on the day. This will stay, this will stay red today because the market is red. And unfortunately, well, I don't know. Who knows? Let's look at the market. The market could go over 115. I guess it's too early to tell. It's 11. 11.15, but 1.15 is what it has to get over to go, and it was struggling to do it. So the bottom line is, I took this trade based on my 26-point golden gap rating method, and I think when you trade, you have to consider the number one, the pick, getting the directional bias right. It doesn't matter if you do a swing trade, an option trade, a day trade, and number two, the entry. I am so good with getting the right pick and the direction and the entry. There's just no one that does it better than me. Now, I don't always get out at the perfect, perfect exit, low of the day in a short or high of the day in a long, but I tell you, over the years, I'm learning. I'm learning, and it's, it's not always about that necessarily. What is important is that you consistently make money and that you feel good about what you do. So I was in and out of this trade, and I was done today before 1030. Now, could this go up and be worth more today? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I would sit here all day for it, and it's no guarantee. And do you see how this fell then hard right after all the way down in 1015? So, I mean, this fell hard then after I got out of it. So I really, really did the right thing. I'm very proud of myself today. I'm going to call my mom as soon as I'm done with this video, and she'll be happy for me too, and my dad. So I booked more money than I ever did in one trade in my life today. And I'm very, very blessed that I know how to do this. It is not impossible to make money in the market. It is very possible. However, you do have to have a structure. You do have to know what to do. And you have to be patient with yourself to make the money. If you have a small account, then you have to risk what you can afford that you could lose because some trades don't work. But I will tell you that many trades that I take work. Many trades that I take more work than don't work. And the more that you risk, then the more that you make. You know, I don't know when I get to the point to risk more than that I've been now in these option trades, but honestly, if I had risked $10,000 in this trade, I would have made $40,000 some dollars today in, in a trade that I was in for a couple of days as an option. And I, I could have done it. It was the exact same trade, and I still made $12,000 today. So this money is real. You really can do this. If you think that you can't, you're wrong. You can, but you have to take my class to learn it. You have to take the class. The class costs $5,000. You can pay for that in one trade. And I decided to do something special uh, today and tomorrow. If you sign up before the weekend, I'm going to give the options letter free for the rest of the year. That is terrific. That's amazing. That's a great, great deal. And, you, you know, again, one trade will pay for this whole thing. So if you're interested, give me a call. I'm done trading for the day. Email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. Congratulations to everyone that did it. I'm so happy for you. One of my other students, he made eleven thousand some dollars today, emailed me. That's just fantastic. Okay. So have a great day, everyone.